Hello and welcome back. So you'll notice these enemies that start off behind the rock, um, as they run toward me, they're just trying to push directly into the rock. They're not sort of like intelligently walking around it as, as they're supposed to. Um, they, they just sort of run directly into things and then get pushed past them. So we're going to try to fix that in this video. Um, we're going to use the built-in Unity Nav Mesh Agent. And now if you don't have that window open, go to Windows, uh, Navigation, which is toward the bottom, and then click on Bake. Uh, if you want to, you can tweak these nav mesh baking values, um, but I find that off the bat they usually work pretty well. Uh, when, once that finishes baking, um, you should get this blue mat over your map. And also, um, you'll notice that it's not carving around the rock like I would expect it to. Um, it, it carved around the trees so that the enemy won't run into the trees anymore. Um, but it, it hasn't, it's, it's, it's still not, um, ignoring the rock like we want it to. So to fix that, we're just going to select all the rocks and hit static. And then we bake. And once that finishes, there should be a nice clean cut around this rock. Like so. Um, now, if, if we go into play mode, um, the enemies are still going to do the same thing, because they're, they're not actually taking advantage of the nav mesh agent yet. So to fix that, we're going to go into axon movement, and we, we want to create a reference to the nav mesh agent on axon, um, which we haven't added yet. So I'm going to delete all the other axons, just so we're, we're working on one master copy. Delete. So I, I just have one left, and I'm going to add a nav mesh agent. Just type NAV, it should be the first option. Enter. And now I want, um, right off the bat, I want to set stopping distance to 3 because uh, that's basically what we're using now, and I think that'll be a good value. And then speed, I'm going to set that to 5 because that's what his movement speed was. And. Uh, angular speed, we're going to set that to zero. Uh, we're controlling his rotation automatically with, with our own code, so we don't want the nav mesh agent to mess that up. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and then apply. Now, to, to, um, to edit this component, or to control it with code, we first need to reference it. So we're going to do public nav mesh agent nav mesh agent. Now, um, it used to automatically see this nav mesh agent class, but as of Unity 5.6, you have to import the AI class using Unity Engine dot AI. And I got really excited when I saw this. I was like, AI class, what is that? Um, but currently, all all it is is the nav mesh functions. So I don't know why they they put it in its own library. Anyway. Um, so go ahead and save that, go back to Unity, and now in the inspector you should see a field for nav mesh agent, and we're just going to drag Axon onto his own nav mesh agent. So, so now the movement script can see the, the NMA script. And the first thing we want to do is comment out the previous movement code. So before we were just kind of like sliding the player toward, well, we were sliding Axon toward the player, now we're just going to um, tell the nav mesh agent where to go, and it's going to traverse the, tra to the terrain automatically. Nav mesh agent dot set destination, and give it the player's position, player dot transform dot, player transform dot position, like that. And if we hit play and cross our fingers, hopefully it'll work. So he's moving toward me, running directly into the tree. So something's wrong. Nav mesh agent set destination. Um as a quick way to debug this, I'm just going to drag the game window onto its own, just so it's kind of floating, if I can. 
Uh, it's not working. Okay, we're just going to dock it there. And go back into play mode. Make sure maximize on play is not selected. And now, when we have the navigation window open, um, you should be able to see... Uh, hold on a sec. Axon. So if, if you select Axon and have the navigation window open, um, you can view specific details about his path. So we're going to say show path polygons and show avoidance play. So you can see it's it's calculating a direction. Uh, it's just not carving around the tree very well. So I think to fix that, uh, let's see, let's watch it one more time. Yeah, I think that actually worked pretty well. Um, I'm just going to click on him and then go to his nav mesh agent down at the bottom. And for the radius, I'm going to increase this to like 2. And now you can see in the scene view, he's got a, a much wider um, like cylinder. Okay. Now we can pull the game view back up to here. I think that fixed it. Maximize on play, hit play. And now let's hide behind the tree and see what happens. That was better. He, he kind of avoided it at that time. Yeah, he, he's he's not he's not directly touching the tree, so I I think what we're doing is working. I think I'm gonna make it even wider just to just to verify that that it is um, actually working. Let's make it like five. Save play. He's still getting really close to it. And pause. And his his nav mesh agent is definitely going through the tree, so something's wrong here. Avoidance display is not valid until after next game update. Huh. I'm going to pause the video and look into this a little further. Alright, I'm back. So, I, I went ahead and broke out my game view. And you'll, you'll notice in the scene view, um, the enemy is using the, the nav mesh agent. You can see him like traversing around things. Uh, but for some reason he still sort of like runs into things. And he's got this radius around him of things that he's supposed to avoid, but he's he's still, like, it doesn't seem like it's taking advantage of the radius. And I'm not sure why. It, it might have something to do with how fast we're updating, because um, we're currently trying to recalculate his path every single frame, which is really, like, not process-friendly at all. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I, th I, think, I think it looks good enough. Um, one more thing that I want to test is if I sort of duplicate these and rebuild the map. Navigation, bake. And let's just put him like way out here. So now the uh just let's just do that so go ahead and bake it one more time and now the you can see the players over here the monsters over here with the previous system the monster would just run directly toward the player and he would get stuck in a concave section like this uh but i think with this with this new nav mesh system he should correctly walk around it so let's go ahead and try that out 
go back to the scene view. And you can see he does actually, um, well, maybe not. He should be correctly mapping around it, but he got stuck. All right, so I did some tweaking, and we need to make sure we take off the rigid body. Um, I don't remember why I put that on, but it's it's definitely not helping us. And it, it was causing a problem where the enemy would start moving in a direction, and then they would keep their momentum, and it, it would just mess everything up. So you don't need the physics um, rigid body on this. And I set the radius to 2. And for the area mask on the nav mesh agent, I just I want to set that to just the walkable terrain. So I'll go ahead and save that, apply this to the prefab, and then hit play. Now you can see in the scene view, instead of walking directly toward the player, he sort of slides to the side, and then runs directly at the player. And um, I know it looks a little weird at the beginning when he's sort of like sliding, sliding sideways, um, but whenever he's in the player's view, he, sh he should be facing directly at the player, so the, the, there's almost no situation when the player is going to see him sliding sideways, because there's only ever going to be one player. So I think that's about it for the nav mesh agent. Um, sorry this video took so long. I wasn't expecting it to to sort of break the way it did. Uh, just to quickly wrap up, um, it in the future, rigid bodies and nav mesh agents don't work well together. And make sure you you're just using the walkable pathfinding terrain. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great night.